Hey everybody, welcome to my channel, Firefly Tarot. Today we're going to be doing another pick a card love reading. And we have the five different groups. This reading is going to be for who is always thinking about you. Um, so try to keep a clear and open mind because this could be giving you messages about just, just about anybody. It could be someone you know or someone that you don't know. Um, but yes, this is specifically for a love reading who is always thinking about you. So you're always on their mind. Um, it can happen as well that it might be more than one person, but we'll see from the readings. So we have the five different groups. Um, remember to take a deep breath and just go with whatever your gut is telling you, whatever feels right. So we have this over here, which is group number one, and this is Tiger's Eye. That's group number one. We have group number two, which is Malachite. We have group number three, which is Howlite. We have group number four, which is Titanium Aura Quartz. And finally, we have group number five, which is the blue onyx. Okay, so again, we have group number one, tiger's eye. Group number two, malachite. Group number three, howlite. Group number four, titanium aura quartz. And group number five, blue onyx. So um, just really relax and go with whatever your gut is telling you feels right. The timestamps are going to be in the description and in the comments, and I will see you at your video. Hey there, this is for those who chose group number one, which was the tiger's eye, which is right over here. So let's ask spirit, who is always thinking about you? So spirit, um, please provide us with clear guided messages for who is always thinking about group number one. Okay. Who's always thinking about group number one? Who, who always has group number one on their mind? Who is always thinking about group number one, please? And shuffle one more time. Okay. So yes, again, spirit, who is always thinking? Who is always thinking about group number one, please? Excuse me. Who's always thinking about group number one, please? Group number one. Spirit, who is always thinking about group number one, please? Group number one. Who's always thinking about group number one? Oh my god. <laughs> uh, who's always thinking about group number one, please? Okay. So whoever's thinking about you is thinking about you in a very serious way. They probably are thinking of a long-term committed relationship, possibly marriage is what's coming up so far. So you have this Knight of Pentacles energy. So, okay, this is a very interesting contrast. You have a, the slowest moving knight in the deck, and then... The Hierophant, which can mean that long-term or marriage commitment. But then you have the Eight of Wands, which is something for fast movement. So, very interesting. So, let's keep pulling out some more cards just to get some more answers here. Um, Spirit, who, who is always thinking about group number one, please? Who is always thinking about group number one? This could mean that someone's very indecisive, by the way. Who is always thinking about group number one, please? Alright, so, <clears throat> so 
So what I'm getting is that this is someone that you have spoken to at one point about a long-term committed relationship and being together for the rest of your lives, that kind of a vibe. So, so for some of you that was marriage and for others of you it was just something with long-term, like this is your person, you are my person, that kind of a thing. So your person is flip floppy. They, um, that, that just that inconsistent energy. So they're, they're one way and then they're another way and it just, there's really no stability there. Um, this also could be someone who's a little bit more on the immature side or spiritually young because we have the knight, okay, rather than the king. Yep, <laughs> that's so funny. We have another knight, okay? So your person is definitely a little bit immature. They're not as immature as they could be. With That would be like the page. But this is the knight. We have the knight of pentacles and the knight of cups, which for some of you, you are dealing with someone who's flip, like who flip-flops, right? As we saw from this first row. But there are others of you who are dealing with two different energies here. I did mention that in the intro. We have the Knight of Pentacles and the Knight of Cups. Very different. So um, let's just pull out some more. So Spirit, who's always thinking about group number one, please? Who's always thinking about group number one? Group number one, please. Who's always thinking about group number one? Yeah, the Knight of Cups has a different energy, I can tell. All right. Who's always thinking about group number one? Who's always thinking about group number one, please? Yeah, um, as I was shuffling for the Knight of Cups, it was a different kind of more decisive and fast energy. So we have the Six the six of Wands. Let's pull out another one. Um, Spirit, who is always thinking about group number one, please? Group number one. Who is always thinking about group Okay. All right. So you have the King of Pentacles as well. And you have the King of Swords. Jeez. And you have the Ten of Cups. Someone is really thinking about a serious commitment with you. Marriage, family, long-term committed relationship, um, building that life together. So this person, whoever it is, is really serious about you. So this is so interesting. Um, you have two knights and two kings. So I there's most likely for you group 1 more than one person who is always thinking about you. That's pretty powerful stuff, okay? Um I I don't I don't know if I should go as far as to say it's even more than two people. I mean, it's it's honestly it can be, but uh for here, for right now I'm just picking up the two the two powerful um, energies here. And I do feel that they're both very, very serious about you. Um, I feel like you know who both of these people are as well. So it might be that you're already in a relationship with one of these people. And then the other one is someone that you used to be in a relationship with. And they, they're still always thinking about you. Probably, probably haven't said anything. Um, so let's just, uh, get some clarification, um, so that you can have more information, like more clues about what's going on here. Um, let me use my other deck, actually. Hold on. So we're going to use this deck over here. Let's just shuffle. Okay. So, Spirit, can you please tell us more about the Knight of Pentacles, please? The Knight of Pentacles. Please clarify why is the Knight of Pentacles here? Hmm. Interesting. Start. Okay. So, we have the... Holy shit. <laughs> I asked why is the Knight of Pentacles here? And the Knight of Pentacles came up again. All right. This person is very present in your reading. They're constantly thinking about you i'm emphasizing that i think this is the person that's away from you um the one who's wishy-washy or had been in the past this person is so so present right now in your in your reading in their energies that's coming up my goodness it's someone who changed their mind someone who used to think um who who didn't uh, I, i'm gonna say who didn't appreciate you in the past but they changed their mind here with the, the hanged man. 
they were definitely they were and still are a young energy but they have matured since the you know since the past okay see as i said that look what came up the page of cups so yeah they they were very immature at a different point in time and now they're more mature they're still not the king but they're more mature and you made them so freaking happy with the sun card i feel like you both made each other happy um it was such a a divine feeling kind of a union but for whatever reason it it did break up most likely or if not break up completely you know it just um shifted in its tone maybe there was a lack of clarity maybe you guys didn't know what was going on um this person i feel wants to communicate with you again i just feel that they are very hesitant confused afraid unsure of themselves you know doubting themselves but again they're they're here they're they're here double they're they're so so constantly thinking about you um just like a strong uh, spiritual connection with you that they feel. So that's awesome. Um, well, I mean, I don't know what happened like that caused this kind of these issues, but that's pretty interesting so far. Okay, so let's look up uh, this other. I think I'm just gonna put this up here actually. Hang out with them. So let's look up for the King of Cups, or I mean, sorry, the Knight of Cups and the two Kings down here. Um, Spirit, why is the Knight of Cups here? This is someone who probably matured a lot as well. To like a ridiculous degree. But matured in your commitment with each other. So someone who... Um, this is a different energy, like I said. This is someone who... Let's say, for example, if they weren't so serious in the beginning... They're insanely serious now. They're so mature now. They're so committed and thinking about the long term with you. Okay. We have the Justice card that came up. You have a lot of Major Arcana cards so far. You have the Hierophant, the Hanged Man, the Sun, and then Justice. So this is pretty powerful stuff. We also have the Eight of Cups. So it was clarifying the Knight of, the Knight of Cups. Okay. Yeah, this person balanced out. Your relationship balanced out. You both, most likely both, moved on from some kind of a past, uh, a past um, sort of these past issues within your relationship. The both of you have moved on from that. This person um, who's who's always thinking about you, they do feel so successful now within the relationship. And within the connection so so yeah I, I do feel that for a lot of you this is the person that you're currently with and perhaps this person over here is an ex or you know something like that um let's get a couple more cards for knight of cups please spirit knight of cups the knight of cups oh my <laughs> okay so the knight of cups we have the knight of swords see right underneath the king of swords okay we have the three of swords we have the Three of Pentacles, and we have the Queen of Wands. Whoa, that's so, wow, that is so clear. Um, okay, this person, the same one that I was just mentioning, that you're most likely still, that you're with right now, was heartbroken over a third-party situation. I feel that you are the Queen of Wands. Um, this Knight of Swords energy probably came up very quickly in regards to the third party connection but they were heartbroken by this so this makes perfect sense now um if this is not resonating for you guys uh it might mean that you have to choose a different group but this is coming in loud and clear your person now was heartbroken by the fact that there was someone else either from the past or on your mind or like maybe even still um because this sun card is pretty unmistakable in its sense of joy so it's so radiant and like I said before it was both of you that felt that way so I feel like this person knew this or still knows it or like you know they were heartbroken from it in the past I feel like that it really caused an upset it was just like so sudden and so you know jarring to them but it did have to do with the other person you see because you have the three the three of pentacles there 
and the Three of Swords that is right next to it, okay? So this is so interesting. Wow. It doesn't surprise me that you have more than one person because you are this Queen of Wands. The Queen of Wands is in incredibly attractive and um, charming and confident and even, you know, sexual. So that's that's very unsurprising to me. So super powerful energies so far. So this is this is who the more than one person who is thinking about you right now. Um, let's see. Let's just pull out. You know, what else? Let me pull out this one. Actually, no. I'm gonna pull out a third deck for you guys because you guys are pretty interested. Uh, this is pretty interesting. So let's just pull out. So I have the three different decks on the table that I'll have here. So let's just get a couple of extra words from Spirit. Okay, so Spirit, what else for group number one, please? What else? What else for group number one? What else for group number one, Spirit? Spirit, what else for group number one, please? What else for group number one? What else for group number one, please? What else for group number one? So there's a lot going on here. This is a very complicated situation. I feel like you're two people probably, probably knew each other or know of each other. So I don't think that this was something that was like on the side or whatever. You have quite a few cards that came up. So, oh my God. Wow. How, that's crazy. You have a deep soul connection here. Now, I'm not sure which one is which, but you have a two of cups. That's that's the minor arcana's version of the lovers. Wow. Okay, then we have the four of cups. Then we have the page of swords. Was that the one we had from before? We had the page of cups. Um, no, we don't have that one. So the page of swords. We have the death card and the strength card. So again, a lot of major arcana cards here. Okay, so someone in the connection, whichever one, had refused something or turned away. It possibly could be the one over here with the Knight of Pentacles, um, the one who came up twice, remember that? The one who was the sun um, with you in that bright, radiant energy. I do feel that it was them. I feel like they turned away because they probably changed their mind about you or about the situation or whatever it was there's a possibility that they turned away as well because of their their immaturity but i feel it's because of this situation too that could be the case for some of you that maybe they just figured you know you were already with someone or that um you know they they just kind of got discouraged it wasn't because of anything that you did but they did get discouraged um again i feel like they're very immature i feel like see with the death card i feel like some kind of a cycle ended so i am gonna say that it's probably with that younger energy there this one over here this isn't this came up as a knight at first but this person this the second one that i had brought up had evolved to two different kings so this is the person that's most likely the stable one and this is the, the one that flip-flops right um Oh, wow. And I'm having deja vu right now. This is intense. Okay. So there was a there was an ending of a cycle, the death card. I feel that the flip floppy person probably is now looking at things in a different perspective. I feel that the immaturity cycle has probably cycled out. I feel like it ended for them. And now we have the strength card. Remember, we have the justice card for the other person. So we're dealing with some powerful energies. Um, I feel like this person... This person and the situation, and most likely both situations, have kind of calmed down. And they're just, um, for some weird reason, the phrase that came to mind was, it's more accessible. Um, I have no idea why that came up. But uh, it might that might mean that like you, you're in more communication with one or both of them, or you will be. Like I said, we do have that, that eight of wands there. Um, that's so powerful, group number one. Oh my gosh. So just... For the hell of it, I'm going to actually pull out just one or two messages as well, just to see what comes up. Um, all right, so let me shuffle one more time. Okay, that shuffle did not work. 
Um, so Spirit, is there any messages for us? Let me see if this is the right way. Spirit, are there any more messages for us, please, for group number one? Group number one's messages, please. Group number one's messages. So who's always thinking about them? Okay, so I was totally trying to pull out a couple, but you did get... Wow. This is so freaking powerful. Whew, look at this. It says, what happened to us? So that's most likely from that flip-floppy person um, who's most likely away from you right now if there if there's communication card coming back in what happened to us what um what happened to the sun you know what happened to that beautiful energy what happened to our long-term plans for each other possibly marriage i i don't know what happened it, it doesn't even say anything about that but something happened in the connection that most likely severed it and this person is sitting there thinking about you constantly saying what happened it might even be from something that they did you know maybe not i need your healing I feel that this could be most mostly it does feel like that flip-flop person I think that it also has to do with the other person as well they both feel that you're just such a compassionate strong um, healing kind of person and they just they love that about you you're so radiant to them um, so the last two ones is I don't feel the same way and I am ashamed so that one I do feel is from the person up here I feel like they did do something they did wrong you in some way they probably left you out in the cold even though that card isn't here but that's what it feels like they're ashamed um they have regrets they made a mistake or several mistakes and it says i don't feel the same way that i think that's a that's a double meaning i feel that it means that they have matured and they don't feel that same way that they did in the past um with their uncertainty about you but i also think that on some level they still haven't they haven't quite leveled up completely because we have the page of cups again that came up, right? So it's it's kind of implying I don't feel the same way like every day. So they're still in indecision mode, okay? So whoever whoever that is. I feel like there's a lot more stability with this person with the double kings that came up and the, and not to mention the justice card that's so powerful. They were hurt by what happened, but I feel like they're so mature that they handled it, right? The other person. And because of this, they're so serious about you. They feel victorious about this connection. You know, they, they love you. Um, this person over here, the more stable one. They love you deeply. Now this, I don't even know what to tell you about that. If you have these two strong energies, there's a possibility for a lot of you that both of these energies, both of these people feels like your soulmate um and that could be the case so you're in quite of a love triangle here okay um yeah that one's gonna be difficult to figure out uh but hey look you know if you look at it on the other side you you have two people who constantly think about you and and love you deeply that's pretty amazing you're you're the queen of wands you know you're pretty amazing okay so there's gonna be happiness regardless there's gonna be happiness um either way you have something so blessed so, you know, remember, of course, to always follow your intuition um, and things will balance out. Things will balance out no matter what. So there's nothing to be afraid of. Okay. Um, wow. Group one. Thank you so much for that reading. This was freaking beautiful. So amazing. Um, let me know in the comments what's going on with you. Please like and subscribe if you haven't already. Check back with me. I'm going to be doing more uh, love readings. And uh, yeah, thank you so much for tuning in group number one, and I will see you at the next reading. Bye.
Hey everyone, this is the reading for everyone who picked group number two, which is the Malachite. So we're going to take a look at who's always thinking about you. So Spirit, please provide us with clear guided messages. Who is always thinking about group number two, Malachite? Who is always thinking about group number two, please, Spirit? Group number two, please. Group number two. So Spirit, who's always thinking about group number two, please? Group number two, who is always thinking? Who is always thinking about group number two? Oh my, some strong energies coming in here. Okay, so immediately you had the King of Wands pop up. Very strong energy. Oh my. <laughs> oh my gosh, you have the Five of Swords. You have the Seven of Swords, and you have the Eight of... Jeez, where did these come from? Then you have the... Um, I think this was over here. Hold on. The Eight of Cups, the Queen of Cups, and the Star. What the heck? Um, such powerful energy. So you do have a King and Queen. But they are of different suits. Um, okay. Hmm. This is so interesting. Let me actually just pull out one or two more. Who's always thinking about group number two, please? Group number two. Who's always thinking about group number two, please, Spirit? Actually, I'll, if nothing comes out, I'll just clarify some of these because this is super interesting. Um, weird mix, okay? So you have... Okay, actually... I feel like this person is hiding their feelings. That's probably what that, yeah, that's what's, that's what's going on. Your person is hiding their feelings. So most likely the person who's always thinking about you is this King of Wands energy. Okay, not, not gender specific. Um, and I feel that this one is you, the Queen of Cups. I feel like you are their wish. They have not, they have most likely not said anything with this over here. The Seven of Swords. I feel like they're they're having this inner battle with themselves about it as well. They've probably tried to move on from it. Or maybe they have already been mildly disappointed by the situation in some way. Not by a direct rejection. Um, but yeah, I feel like there's this kind of deceptive energy over here. They have had to feel like kind of, not sneaky, but just it, it is that deceptive energy where... Um, they weren't upfront about something or they're not upfront about something. But I feel like they think about you a lot um, in a sense of like you are their wish and their hope. Okay? So they might think about you a lot at nighttime. Um, it's weird because the King of Wands is a fiery energy who's usually very confident. I feel that because of the contrast with the water here, the Queen of Cups, I feel like they're probably not too confident. Maybe they're just not used to the kind of person that you are. I feel like you guys are total opposites. So you probably dampen this person's confidence in a way that they're not used to. Very interesting. Um, okay, so that's what we have. That's what we have so far. Uh, what else? What else for group number two, Spirit? What else for group number two, please? The Page of Wands. So we have the younger version of the king. So yeah, you. this person is uh, very unsure of themselves when it comes to you. Interesting stuff. Um, what else for group two, Spirit? What else for group two? What else for group number two, please? What else for group two? Who is always thinking about them? What is... So we have the six of wands and we have the six of pentacles. Okay. Um, what I was going to say... Um, okay, so that's that's this is really interesting. I feel like they're... They feel successful in regards to your friendship with each other and the way that you guys balance each other out. Um, 
you do have six, uh, two sixes in a row. So um, I would say that, that there is a lot of harmony between the both of you. Um, cooperation, communication, which shouldn't it's it's a it's a it's a con it's a contrast over here because they haven't revealed their feelings. I feel like this person is very vocal, but not about you. So again, they are confident, they are sure of themselves, but they go through this inner conflict and these feelings of um, discour um, being discouraged when it comes to their connection with you. And they do lie in bed thinking about this kind of thing and. Wondering how you feel, wondering where you are in terms of your emotional state. They have some feelings of, um, mm, it's not too heavy, but some doubt and insecurity in regards to that and like what they should do about that. Um, so yeah, that's what I'm getting so far. Let's pull out a different deck just to see if we have any, any repeats or anything like that. Um, so spirit, uh, for group number two, who's always thinking about group number two. Spirit for group number two, please. All right, so Spirit, can you please clarify the King, the King of Wands? Please tell us why and more about the King of Wands. Please clarify. Okay, that's a lot. Please. Well, there's your reading. It all came out, okay? So we have, we have another Eight of Cups. Maybe there, it, um, a lot of it, uh, for some of you, it might be that um, either you or your person was moving on from something. So there possibly could be something having to do with like either you or them was moving on from something from the past. So it could have been like a, a, a breakup or something like that, right? Or something from the past that they're moving on from. Um, okay, wow. You have the... The Ten of Cups, that's the happiest family card in the entire deck. So not only do they think about you all the time, they think about being with you long term, possibly the future, the family, stuff like that. This is a, a deep connection. This is not just like a, a playing around kind of a thing. Then you have the Knight of Cups, the Knight of Swords, the Emperor, geez, the Lovers, wow, oh my gosh, and the Moon card. You got quite a few major arcana cards here. Um, I feel like this person is going to reveal their feelings. You have a knight of cups and a knight of swords right next to each other. Um, the cups meaning the emotional romantic part, and then the swords is sort of like taking action finally. And with the emperor. So they're very determined. They really, really want to move towards this fast. They, they don't want to lose you. They don't want to miss their chance. And right after the Emperor and that willpower and that, that movement with the Knight of Swords, you have the Lovers. This is incredible. They feel so deeply towards you. They feel like you're their soulmate. They, they want to have a family with you. Whew, that's so beautiful. Um, but you have the Moon card at the end. Okay, You do have the Moon card. I feel like there's going to be some... Um, you know, there's going to be some fear... Whether from whether on their part or yours, there is going to be a little bit of fear and confusion, just feeling a little bit in the dark. It could mean that um, some of them might even back out at the last second because they doubted themselves. Um, that's so interesting. So yeah, but but this is they really really what they're thinking about the most in regards to this connection is how much they want to come towards you and how determined they are and how much they um, feel like you're their soulmate. It's just that they're, they're, they're a bit confused. They're a bit confused, okay? So let's pull out more cards from a different deck just to see, just to make sure. Okay, so Spirit, anything else? Anything else for group number two, please? Group number two, what else? That was the Nine of Wands. Anything else for Group 2, please? Anything else for Group 2, please, Spirit? 
All right. They're thinking about you like crazy. Because another Queen of Cups came up. A double. Oh my God. Another Ten of Cups. This is insane. I feel like the feelings are reciprocated then, um, since there's two of these. Uh, that's so powerful. Oof. But this is interesting. You have another Five of Swords. Um, see? I feel like this is usually a card that has to do with some kind of petty battles, but I do feel like it's the battle within themselves. Um, just like, uh, like I said, not being sure, um, not being sure if they should come forward. It's inner, um, inner disagreement. Uh, and then uh, we do have the nine of wands. So it's, it's really taking a toll on them, not being able to make this decision. Um, let me just, uh, actually pull out, if we get like one or two messages, the written ones for you, just to see, this is so powerful. Oh my God. They really have a deep, deep, uh, feeling of soulmate love towards you. So beautiful. Now it's not saying how you're feeling and that would probably explain why they're having this inner battle. Um, So you, I don't even know if this is not saying if you know who this person is. Um, if you don't even, or if you're not even aware of this, then, you know, like how, how could you possibly um, tell them and reciprocate? But um, I think for a lot of you, you don't even know who this is. I mean, you know them, but um, it, it, it might not be someone that you know personally or that you would even consider would have those feelings, right? Um, but they feel so deeply towards you. Um, so group two, please, messages. Group two spirit for group two. For group two, please. Okay, spirit for group two, please. For group two. For group two. Who's always thinking about them? Group two, please. Okay. okay, let's see. Give me one second here, hold on. So group two, please. I feel like one more tried to come out, hold on. We have a couple here. All right, so we have, <laughs> I crave you, woo. So, yep, that's that. Um, obviously they you know they think of you sexually too um it's very it's very loving though okay um yep this one it's not a surprise i'm afraid so they're afraid to we already established that they are not coming forward oh my gosh spirit is so on point i can't tell you how i really feel you have no idea how i feel this is so on point thank you spirit that's incredible this person is loving you from afar so hard. They are so in love with you from afar and you don't know it. You have no idea. I mean, they probably think that you have no idea, but I have a feeling that you know on some level. If you are the queen of wands, which came up double, you're pretty intuitive. So even if you're asking yourself right now, who the hell is this talking about? Drop into your intuition, clear your mind and just feel it out, okay? So just feel out. Or, or maybe ask your, your channels to be open than just when you interact with people next because you you most likely are going to be able to tell from your intuition. Oh my gosh. So yeah, this person is thinking about you constantly, thinking about having a deep, um, you know, happy family connection kind of feel. They, they, they see you as their soulmate. This is intense. And all of these messages were so just in sync. This is so amazing, group number two. Um, wow. Wow. Very powerful. <sighs> okay. All right. So group number two, that's everything that I have for you. Um, if this didn't resonate, it might mean you need to choose a different group. But um, please let me know in the comments what's going on with you. I'd love to know. 
Please like and subscribe if you haven't already and check back with me for more love readings. Um, thank you so much for tuning in, group number two. That's all I have for you. And I will see you at the next reading. Bye. Hey everyone, this is the reading for those of you who chose group number three, which is the Howlite. Group number three. So Spirit, please provide us with clear guided messages for group three. And who is always thinking about them? Spirit, who is who is always thinking about group number three, please? Howlite. Group number three, please. Group number three, Spirit. Who is always thinking about group number three? Who's always thinking about group number three, Spirit? Group number three. Okay. Okay, so Spirit, please provide us with messages. Who is always thinking about group number three, please? Group number three, the highlight. Who is always thinking about group number three? I felt kind of bold. Um, all right, so you have the Nine of Wands. I felt that for some of you, you might be dealing with an ex here because there's a lot of like, just being really tired from a lot of battles. Possibly could be an ex for some of you. You have the Knight of Pentacles. Yeah, okay, so you have the Four of Swords and the Four of Pentacles. Yeah, um, from all of those battles, there this person was taking like a lot of rest and um, contemplation. Um, and with the Four of Pentacles, um, hmm, this is a really you have the two fours in a row. Um, let me pull out just a couple more cards before I interpret that. So what else? Hold on. So spirit, um, who is who is always thinking about group number three? Whoa, group number three. Who is always thinking? Who is always thinking about group number three? Group number three. Yeah, I I am sensing an X vibe, guys, um, because two cards were trying to pop out and they didn't right at the last second. Um, I just have a feeling that this is someone you've dealt with before. Some indecision here. very up and down someone who's probably struggled with their feelings up and down you know a lot of cards come up yep so we have the ten of swords so there was a painful ending okay so i that's what it looks like we're dealing with here okay um an ex or someone from your past okay so it doesn't have to necessarily mean you were in a relationship with them but there was a lot of these battles okay so ace of pentacles you have the Six of Wands, you have the Ace of Cups, and the Tower. My goodness. 
Okay, so at first I wasn't sure, but I am picking up on only one energy here. So you have the Ten of Swords and you have the Tower. So yeah, definitely something that shook them or shook you or the relationship. Um, okay, so you have the Two Swords and you have the Three Pentacles. The Knight of Pentacles. Okay, so I feel that with the Ace and the Knight... Is this, this doesn't feel um, like this connection even had a chance to really take flight. Um, because you have the two aces, but you have the two tower, uh, the, the two endings, and then the, the fighting here, and then the rest in contemplation. I feel like the, for a lot of you, whoever it is that's always thinking about you, it's nothing even got a chance to really happen. It was like uh, this, the, the, like in, in its infancy, this relationship didn't even get a chance to bloom. I feel like they hold on to the memory of you very tightly. I feel like they, they're they probably stubborn. Um, and just like really thinking about this a lot. And you do have this card over here, which is for rest and contemplation. But, you know, some in a way that is making them feel tired. Okay. So let's get some clarity on this energy up here um, for the for the nine and for the knight of pentacles. Um, where's my deck? Here it is. Okay, so spirit. We're gonna ask about group three for let's see. I'm actually going to ask about the nine to see why that's there. Um, spirit, why is the nine of wands here okay wow that was chaotic that makes sense Jeez, just keeps <laughs> oh wait this card is supposed to go here okay your card fell hang on okay this is definitely someone from your past hold on excuse me one second so this is someone from your past because the card that fell out onto the floor was the Six of Cups, okay? Um, I feel like there was, there's um, some kind of anger or resentment that's going on uh, with that. It might be on, on their end. <clears throat> okay, so you have the Two of Wands. Oh, oh boy. You also have the Two of Cups. All the readings today are so powerful. Um, the Six of Cups is also an indicative of that kind of deep soul connection. Or it can be. Um, for some of you, not many of you though, but for some of you I am picking up that this was a childhood friend. And that could explain why... For, for those of you who this is resonating with, that could explain why the, the, what do you call, the situation, the relationship didn't even get a chance to take flight or blossom, like I said before. So we have the Eight of Pentacles. Um, yeah, they've been... So I had asked why the Nine of Wands is here. They've been putting a lot of thought into this. They've been really thinking about you a lot. And planning something out from afar or just like not not necessarily planning to do something but just like in that energy of just like thinking and planning and you know what do I do and like oh just kind of just overthinking all the time but yeah they feel they feel a very strong connection to you with these two cards here um, I feel that for those of you like um, this person if they're from your past um, I'm not, I mean, they view you as this deep soul connection, right? That might not necessarily mean that you view them that way, but they, this is how they view you. They, they viewed you as someone just like that, that deep spiritual connection, someone that they really got along with, um, had a lot of chemistry with, and I feel that they, they're not used to that or, or they never felt that from anyone before. And because you guys are most likely not 
in this situation anymore with each other. They're still thinking about it because they just, they never experienced this before. And any new relationship or any new opportunity, um, even thinking about it, like it doesn't compare to what, like what they had for a different um, percentage of you guys it could be that this person didn't really have other opportunities for love so they are quite clinging to what they got from with you they they had this um they had this opportunity with you they had this attention from you and this um these loving feelings towards you and um that it's sort of like that was the only love that they ever knew which is why you know these two cards i feel are trying to trying to say okay so that but again that's only for for some of you, okay? All right, so let's just pull out the final deck here. I'm using three decks for all of the readings tonight. It's turning out. Um, okay, so let's just check what else, all right? Okay, so Spirit, um, anything else? Anything else for group three? For group three, anything else? What else for group number three? What else for group number three, please? Group three. Spirit, what else for group three, please? I feel like they're probably quiet now. Um, really not saying anything to you at all. Anything else for group number three, please? Anything else for group three? Yeah, I feel they're very, they're very quiet about their feelings after all this time or just at this point. Anything else for group three? Oh my goodness, okay. They have so many thoughts about you. Um, this kind of took a turn. That was interesting. So the Temperance card came up. You also have the Emperor. You have the Magician. Another Nine of Wands. The Star card and the Knight of Pentacles again. That's very, very powerful. Um, all the readings are so freaking powerful tonight. Oh my gosh. So they're like you're constantly on their mind. Um, you have four major Arcana cards that came up in a row. And then you still have the tower from before. I feel like this person... Um, temperance usually means something having to do with patience. But uh, remember before I said there's a lot of like waiting and thinking. So there's a lot of that still. But I do feel that they are patient. There is a chance that they're waiting for you to come around. Because we also have the Emperor card. Which, you know, he's has a lot of willpower. A lot of determination. This person is trying to manifest you. You know, they're really thinking hard about it, wanting this so badly because you're their wish. And they have hope. They have hope for this connection. At one point, you know, it was the Ace of Cups and they do feel this deep soul bond with you. Um, uh, you know, it, it is, it is. Uh, this reading was for their feelings and thoughts and stuff. Um, so on your end, I don't know how you're feeling, but they certainly feel that way about you. And they're very determined and hardworking and they think so much about this connection. Um, yeah, very strong energy over here with the two duplicates in a row. That's insane, you guys. Um, <laughs> let me just hook up some uh, messages from you, uh, from them right now for you. Hey, how did my candle go out? I don't know how that happened. I was shuffling too hard. I don't know what group set it off there. I didn't even notice. Hold on. Okay, so Spirit, um, what are some messages for group three, please? For group three. For group three, please, what are some messages for group three? Spirit, what are some messages for group three? group three Ooh. okay we have this isn't fair oh my gosh and we have I can't tell you how I really feel 
I, this is really on point. Um, all of these love readings tonight are coming out so clearly. Thank you, Spirit, for that. So yeah, this person feels that this, is, this isn't this is fair. I'm not sure why they feel that way. Um, I'm not sure if it's because maybe you're outwardly rejecting them or um, something in the situation isn't fair. Maybe it's something having to do with, like, they feel that they have to keep a boundary. Maybe you're unattainable. Um, in some way and they're looking at you and wishing for you but you're unattainable that could mean any number of things it could mean that they're not in a position to reach out to you because it's like um un un uh, what do you call them? it might be inappropriate unethical maybe it has something to do with work maybe you're already in a relationship that could be something but whatever the case is they feel that this whole thing about life isn't fair you know why can't i have my soulmate um you know why couldn't have things taken off all that stuff and at the end of the day, they, they feel like they can't tell you how they really feel. So this is so interesting. Um, I, I hope that you guys in group number three can have some idea of who this might be. But um, this is this we got a lot of information about them, at least in how they're feeling. Um, so interesting. Whew. Okay. Um, yeah, group number three. That's everything that I have for you. I really hope that this helped and it resonated. Let me know in the comments what's going on with you. Um, please like and subscribe if you haven't and then check back with me because I'll be doing plenty of more love readings. Um, and yeah, I, I hope that this helped. Um, please, uh, yeah, please let me know. Um, thank you so much, group number three, for tuning in and I hope to see you at the next reading. Thank you so much. Bye. Hey everybody, this is the reading for those of you who picked group number four, which is the Titanium Aura Quartz. So we're going to take a look at um, what's going on and who is always thinking about you. Okay, so Spirit, what? Um, please provide us with clear guided messages for whoever's thinking about group number four. Group number four. Spirit, please provide us with clear guided messages um, for who is always thinking about group number four, please. Who is always thinking about group number four, please? Group number four. Please provide us with clear guided messages um, for who is always thinking about group number four. Spirit, who is always thinking about group number four? Group number four. Who is always thinking about group number four? Group number four. Who is always thinking about group number four, please, Spirit? Who is always thinking about group number four? A little quiet person's a little quiet. Who is always thinking about group number four, please? Group number four. Spirit, who is always thinking about group number four, please? Thank you. Whoa. Okay, so the Emperor, the King of Cups, and the Seven of Wands. Interesting. Let me get more. 
we have two um we have two powerful masculine energies but it might be the same person let's find out um okay so spirit who's always thinking about group number four what else for group four please group four that's slid across pretty strongly all right so we have the knight of pentacles so there's hmm Yeah, I, I feel like this is more than one person. Okay. Kind of like fighting over you feeling with that with that seven of wands. Yeah, one person in this connection, if it is more than one person, one of them is very quiet and one of them was very uh, forceful. That's what I was picking up. Yeah, someone in the someone in the situation is not revealing how they feel for you. <sighs> Someone in the connection is thinking about you a lot to the point where they're really fixated or probably possibly obsessing. We have the nine of wands. And we have, the, yeah, okay. So we have something having to do with juggling here. Yeah. All right. So this most likely is more than one person that's always thinking about you. But let me... um pull up some clarifiers uh yeah let's pull up some clarifiers because i don't want to get it confused um let's look at the emperor so spirit why is the emperor here or tell us more about the emperor okay whoa okay so spirit why is the emperor here please tell us about the emperor please tell us about the emperor Oh my, it's a lot. Um, that was the forceful energy that I was picking up on, remember? <sighs> my goodness. Um, I feel like the whoever is the king of cups is, is the person that obsesses a bit. Or, or just really, really likes you, and it's turning into that, okay? Alright, so with the emperor, we have the nine of cups. We have the knight of cups, another knight. We have another Nine of Wands, and we have the Queen of Swords. Okay, interesting. Um, all right, so I was asking about the Emperor, right? So the Emperor, whoever this energy is, definitely sees you as their wish fulfillment, and they would want to fight for you, or they have already fought for you, because you're this Queen of Swords energy, um, you're someone who they feel is very desirable, very truthful, honest, and um, has a lot of integrity. Um, I feel like this person might have already made an offer towards you with this Knight of Cups, or they've just made it clear, right? Now, it's not saying if you agreed. Uh, and then, like I said, I am getting that the King of Cups hasn't said anything, possibly because the Emperor energy is there. Okay? Um... I think that uh, the both, most likely, or if not both, and someone here is aware that there's these options for you, is aware that you're kind of, um, like the energies are juggling around you. But yeah, there is this energy of fighting for you or really trying to get your attention. Um, with these two nines that came up that, you know, that just feeling tired and worn after a lot of battles, and with this... Um, seven of wands like just like again like this battle kind of energy this person the emperor they 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 really do desire you but i'm not sure if it's on a deep level i'm not sure if it's like on a deep soul um spiritual level but let's ask about the king of cups see who the who that's talking about all righty So Spirit, um, can you tell us more about the King of Cups? Why is the King of Cups here? The King of Cups. Why is the King of Cups here? A lot of thoughts. A lot of thoughts about you. Thinking so, so much about you. Look at all that stuff that just came out. That's insane. It keeps coming out. 
This person is definitely having that depth. Jeez. Oh my God. Um, yeah, this person is definitely completely ruminating about you. And look what popped out face up was the five of cups. So they feel a sense of loss. Maybe they lost their chance with you. Maybe they never said anything and still feel like they lost their chance with you. Um, so many cards came out. That's, that's nuts. Okay, so let's see what we have. We have the six of pentacles. Um, usually that talks about fairness, but in this case, I feel like because it's the, the context, they feel that something is unfair in this situation. Um, I feel like that emperor energy is really, uh, what do you call it? Just sort of monopolizing your attention or trying to, I don't feel that the emperor energy is very authentic. I feel like the king of cups is more authentic. Um, but a little intense, okay? So we also have the Ace of Wands. So they've been thinking about wanting to create that new um, passionate beginning with you, but they didn't. Um, they see you as so abundant, beautiful, and independent. You're most likely single, um, as far as they know. It, it, like you are, and you have those options that you were juggling, like I said. Um, but they see you as so, they probably see you as generous and just abundant and prosperous. Um, so we have the Ace of Wands and the Page of Wands. So yeah, they're, they've definitely been thinking about some kind of an offering to you or a new beginning with you. Um, yeah, they see you, see, look, they see you as the deeper soul connection. Like they, they have real feelings for you. Um, whoever is this King of Cups, they have real deep soulmate feeling connection towards you, uh, feelings towards you. And then we also have the Eight of Pentacles. So they're willing to work really hard on this that's probably what is the unfairness over here they're like sitting there thinking like i would give this person everything and i really mean it i'm very serious about them and and it's going nowhere okay um just this just keeps going see we have another two of pentacles so they're very aware of the fact that this is being juggled in your world okay so that came up again very powerful then we have the hierophant oh my god like ugh, spirit is so on point this is amazing this person has even thought about marriage with you or or something very long-term committed if not marriage, okay? They they're just very serious and they're they're very um it's like that 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 wisdom feeling, like they're just so serious about you and the connection and the the commitment. Oh my god, another devil card. They can't stop thinking about this. They really can't stop thinking about this and the bond with you. Um you're always on their mind. Yeah, see, and then we have the Six of Cups. So um, that's very similar. Th that happened in another reading as well. It's very interesting. See, um, those two kind of soulmate energies. Look at all this. This is all from that one person um, who has the two, the two devil energies. Okay, it's a lot, you guys, a lot. And for good reason. It's because they feel so deeply towards you. Either that or they tend to obsess about things, right? Okay. I feel that they're... Um, mm, yeah, nothing of the sort came up for, the, for that emperor energy. Uh, like I said, it does feel a little bit more superficial. It's not to say that the emperor energy doesn't really have feelings towards you. They, they do, but it's just nothing like this. <laughs> okay. Um, that Emperor energy is just really forceful, whereas the King of Cups energy is quiet. Yeah, so the, the King of Cups is someone who is more reserved to themselves. They don't like to outwardly reveal their feelings, but they have a ton of them. They have so many feelings. Okay, so such a powerful energy that is surrounding you right now. So I'm going to pull out some written messages just to see. Um, so far I have pulled out a third deck, but I feel like with yours, this is so powerful that you don't actually need that third uh, tarot deck, but I am gonna pull out messages for you, okay? Group four. Um, all right. You really must be a catch if it's this, you know, and it's, it's more than one person and that one person is obsessing over you. It's powerful stuff. Alrighty, so uh, Spirit, what else do we have for group four? What are the messages for group number four? Group four, please. Group four. 
Okay, hold on, that's too many. Spirit, what are the messages for group four, please? Group four. For group four, please. All right, let's see what we got. Okay. Yeah, that sounds about right. This isn't fair. So your person is, remember I said that thing over here? They're really speaking loud and clear. Okay, interesting mix here. I want to forget you. So because they're obsessing about you, I feel like this is making them kind of sick. Or if not sick, they just, they, they're so tired thinking about this. It's just always, always, always replaying in their mind. Um, please talk to me and I'm moving towards you. So I'm just trying to see if this was them or let, let me see. Um, please talk to me is, I think that it is still this person because um, it, when they're saying please talk to me, it's kind of like they want your attention. They want your affection. They want your, they want your energy um, and your attention rather than it going somewhere else. And I'm moving towards you. I'm moving towards you. I feel like that's what they keep telling themselves. I feel like they keep saying that. I feel like they keep, that's probably why they keep going nuts about this is because they are swearing up and down that they're going to move towards you, that they're going to make a move and reveal their feelings and they don't. Therefore, this. Okay, um, but they're super serious about you, that King of Cups energy. Uh, they're very serious about this and they just constantly think about it. Not just you, but the future with you and like this um, serious commitment with you and thinking about starting it because we have the page and the Ace of Wands. So in terms of thinking, it, it, it sometimes, you know, for the, it doesn't go beyond that, okay? Wow. So um, group number four, I hope that this resonated with you. If it didn't, um, feel free to choose another group. Um, but this was very, very powerful. All the readings tonight are so far super powerful. Um, so thank you for that. So please let me know in the comments what's going on with you. Like and subscribe um, and check back with me for more love readings. Um, yeah, so group four, that's everything I have for you. I hope that this helped. Um, thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you at the next reading. Bye. Hey everyone, this is the reading for those of you who picked group number five, which is the blue onyx. Okay, so uh, Spirit, what are the messages for group five? Um, who is always thinking about them? Spirit, who is always thinking about group five, please? Who is always thinking about group five? Spirit, who is always thinking about group number five, the blue onyx? Who is always thinking about group five? Who 
who is always thinking about group number five, Spirit? All right. Spirit, please provide us with clear guided messages. Um, who is always thinking about group five? Group five, please. Who is always thinking about group five? All right, the Hierophant. Okay, wow. This is a very serious commitment kind of a thing we're dealing with right now. That card has come up a lot this this evening. So on point with spirit. Um, who is always thinking about group five spirit? So one of the cards flipped mid action here. Yeah. Look at that, the lover's card. You have the Hierophant and the lovers right next to each other. This is serious. This is a soulmate, possibly twin flame connection. Yikes. <laughs> I mean, yikes in a good way. Jeez, this, tonight has been so powerful, you guys. Ridiculously powerful. So we also have the King of Swords. We have the Three of Pentacles. The Ace of Swords. The Six of Pentacles and the Five of Pentacles. Okay. Although this started out very powerfully, this is not without conflict because the Five of Pentacles in particular is a card of some kind of hardship and struggle and feeling left out in the cold. And um, at one point feeling a little bit of hopelessness or desperation regarding something that happened here. Now, um, for a lot of you, it might have been a third-party situation. Um, let's pull up more cards before I say anything else, because this is pretty interesting. Um, anything else for group five, please? What else for group five? Who's always thinking about group five? Yeah, there's, I mean, this didn't clarify anything, but it says that there's a lot of burdens going on. So I wonder, I wonder what happened here. Let's get some clarifiers for real this time. Um, okay. So this person is just very serious. You both are most likely serious about this, but what is the problem? Why is the five of pentacles here? Um, that's the most curious one to me. Spirit, can you tell us why the Five of Pentacles is here? Why is the Five of Pentacles here, Spirit? Five of Pentacles. Why is the five of Pentacles? Spirit, why is the Five of Pentacles here, please? The Five of Pentacles. The Five. Oh, lots of stuff. Okay, a lot of things going on. Oh, I love these new cards so much. Um, all right, so... <laughs> oh, my God. We have another Hierophant card. Oh, my gosh. Some of you might already be married, by the way. Um, but I feel like that's probably not the case for most of you. We also have the Judgment card. Serious stuff. We have the Nine of Swords very um similar to the ten of wands over here and we have the we have another six of pentacles this some of you this might be dealing with a person that you divorced um but that's only for a small number of you uh oh my god so because this has to do with um so judgment and then we have sort of like these two kind of like justice um you see the two the scales that we're dealing with here and pentacles um, so this feeling left out in the cold, there's a good chance that a lot of you were, some of you, it could have been that you were, that you were or are married, um, and are going through this kind of, it could be legal battles, but it could just be also, um, just sorting things out in regards to whatever imbalances were happening. But yeah, it could, it could actually be with money here. Um, but whatever is the case, this person... 
felt left out in the cold. Um, they just, I, I, so before I said the, 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 the phrase hopeless and desperate and feeling left out in the cold, um, there may have been infidelity here on which side, I don't know, but, um, this, but since this card came up, um, I'm going to say that that may have been the case for some of you, um, I feel like someone in this connection uh, was or is very cutting, straight to the truth, um, harsh with words, like a sharp tongue kind of a feeling with this Queen of Swords energy. Um, I feel like just whatever happened here caused someone in the connection a lot of pain, not being able to sleep at night, a lot of anxiety, having to re, you know, have this rebirth with the way that they're thinking. My gosh, this is really intense. So intense. Okay. Um, okay, so what card am I going to... Let's see. The Hierophant, the Lovers. Okay, you know what? Let's clarify the Lovers, actually. Um, so, Spirit, can you tell us why the Lovers is here? Please clarify the Lovers card. The Lovers... Spirit, please clarify the lover's card. Tell us more about the lover's card. Spirit, please clarify the lover's card, please. Heartache. It came right up. Oh, jeez. This card came up first and pretty strong. These lovers were... Oh my gosh, that's painful. Um, these lovers were torn apart. Heartbreak on probably both sides, but with your person, it, it might be more so with them having this heartbreak. Um, there is a good chance that for some number of you, perhaps you were getting attention elsewhere. Um, it roles can be reversed, so you know it's it's hard to say, but uh there was this feeling of heartbreak and betrayal. Yeah, specifically betrayal. So this is making it feel even more that this third party situation was involved, okay? So we have the the Four of Swords, reminds me of the Nine over here with this rest and contemplation after everything, as well as having that rebirth in a way of thinking. We have the King of Swords. You have a King and a Queen that, that showed up. You have the Two of Wands, you have the Fool. Um, this was all clarifying the lovers, by the way. Okay, so it was it goes like this, hold on. This is quite a lot that was happening in your situation. So much stuff was going on. <sighs> Okay. All because of that one card, the lover's card. Um, hmm. I feel like a lot of... So I feel like this, this here, the King of Swords, is your person, whereas you are the Queen of Swords. At one point, you guys were really a strong power couple together, and you really fit very well together. But then this happened, um, which caused this person to really take a huge step back and reevaluate things and think about things differently. We have the Fool card. After what happened, they wanted to have another new beginning with you because they see you as this Queen of Pentacles. You're probably, for some of you, um, you might... Uh, you might be like a very good parent. Um, the, the queen of pentacles is like that motherly nurturing energy. So they probably saw such value to you and your practical life together as well. Like, you know, you take really good care of the family or um, let's say the finances or children or whatever was going in, uh, involved in the situation. You just um, had that very abundant energy to you. So they wanted to take that new beginning with you um, I'm not sure if they were able to do this because of the heartbreak, the, the betrayal feeling. Um, 
So for some of you that might not resonate, by the way, about that third party thing, but I think for a lot of you it, it might. Um, now, if this whole reading isn't resonating with you, then you then you probably have to pick a different group. Um, but this is what's coming up, okay? So we have the Knight of Cups. I feel like they slowed down a lot and they started to really think deeply about the connection again. I still feel like they love you deeply. Um, after whatever happened here, after this feeling, I feel like they still love you so deeply. Um, Man, okay, let's get some more from a different deck here just to see. Ooh, heavy energy here. Okay, so Spirit, what else? Um, Spirit, what else do we have for group five? What else for group five, please? What else for group five? Okay. Okay, so let's take a look. Um, the Ace of Pentacles, the Ace of Pentacles, so yeah, they, they want to start something stable with you again, um, you have got to be kidding me, you have a third Hierophant, jeez, that's so crazy, so there's heavy, heavy, heavy tones of marriage here, I can't believe you got three Hierophants. So if for some of you who are not actually married, it feels like a marriage. It It's such a stable, sturdy commitment. Um, possibly some of you have kids, even though honestly that wasn't showing up here. Um, but that could be what the Queen of Pentacles was referring to as well. I cannot believe you got all three. <laughs> that is insane. That's nuts. Um... So you have three fives though, and you have this five over here, right? So we'll let, we'll take a look at that too. So you have all these fives. So that could be talking about change, instability, and conflict. So yes, definitely that. Um, this is so freaking powerful. They still have this um, wish and this hope that things can work out again. So they it it was it was kind of like saying marriage before now and after like past present and future kind of feelings it's just like wrapped up in that that deep um committed you know serious kind of a relationship so again if it wasn't infidelity if it wasn't um attention from someone else or interference by someone else it doesn't have to literally mean infidelity it could just mean that there was some kind of out uh outer interference like um you know, some kind of a third party energy that was messing up the connection and making them feel very insecure and making them feel very heartbroken. So yeah, don't worry if for some of you that's not resonating with the third party, it could mean any number of things, right? Because this is a general reading. Um, but uh, regardless, they want to start the new beginning with you again. They're, they're constantly thinking about you. Such a deep, a deep level of commitment to you with the three. <laughs> I, I have never seen that ever i'm just like this i'm cracking up at that that's ridiculous but yeah the the star okay so um you're they're so wishing for this they're so hoping for this they don't want to feel out left out in the cold anymore they don't want to feel all these burdens they you know they feel deeply for you they do um i don't know if this is necessarily like a, a faded union but they feel a deep sense of a, of that the same level of a soulmate connection. So, like for example, if it's not necessarily a soulmate, they feel a deep soul kind of um, level with you. Oh my gosh, such powerful readings tonight. Uh, so, Group Five, let me get some messages for you. These written messages um, for your for your person. So freaking powerful. I can't. I can't. Ah, okay. So group five. For group five. Spirit, what are the messages from group five, please? Group five. Let's get a couple more. Group five. For group five, please. Okay, I think that was actually too many. Hold on. Okay, so spirit for group five, please. Messages for group five. Hold on. 
kind of hard to shuffle these tiny cards. Hold on. Okay, so group five, please. Okay, group five, group five, group five, group five. What do we got? Group five. <laughs> um, all right, so let me just, I'm dying to know what the first one said. Let's see. Ah, oh my God. Wait, wait, let me just check. Hold on. Wow. This is a lot. This is a lot. Definitely a uh, mismatch here. That's why I am so done right now, you guys, in a good way. Look at the last card that came up. You hurt me and I still can't forgive you. I cannot believe this card came up. That's so freaking crazy. I'm like getting really passionate right now. You hurt me and I still can't forgive you. The first card that came up was I've given up, but you have other cards here. So there's conflict, right? There's something you don't know. They all, it also says I'm terrified to lose you. I feel you in every part of me. They're so freaking connected to you. And you are everything to me. So even though this person feels like, you know, they're they're just done with the situation and they can't forgive you and that they've given up, they're so connected to you and and the, they have this wish, you know, for you and for the connection. Um they feel you in every part of them. They're always thinking about you. They're so scared to lose you. Like that's so sad. Oh my God, they're so freaking sad about that. Um, I mean, but they're hurt. I can't believe that that card came up. That's actually the first time um, in any of my readings that this came up. That's crazy. Um, there's something you don't know. I mean, I don't know if they're hiding something too. Oh my God, I feel like you both have to have a deep, deep heart-to-heart, -heart, open and honest conversation. Write a letter to each other if you have to. God, this is so heavy. This energy here is so freaking heavy. Okay, I'm feeling all of this. So again, if it wasn't literally some kind of an unfaithful situation, it was something that struck them in that same way. So something just as heavy and just as feeling of I'm left that in the cold. <sighs> okay, that was a lot. That was a lot. Um... This is one of the heaviest or most powerful energies um, that I've had tonight. Oh my goodness. Whew. All right. Thank you, Spirit, for that. Um, group number five, I really hope that this resonated. If it didn't at all, like I said, you might have to choose another group. Um, good luck in your situation. You know, I, I just uh, definitely act with um, honesty and integrity, but compassion you know be be gentle with this person especially after what's happened and having with the queen of swords having a tendency to be cutting okay so try to be very compassionate towards this person um and see if you can at least um speak about things to work things out at least to be civil you know if you can't get back together or if you can't get back to how you were before <sighs> okay wow Okay, <laughs> group number five, this is everything that I have for you. Let me know in the comments what's going on with you. Um, uh, please like, subscribe, share if you haven't already. Check back with me for more love readings or just more pick a card readings. Um, yeah, that's everything I have. I hope that this helped you. I hope it brought some clarity to the situation. And thank you so much for tuning in and I will see you at the next reading. Bye.